It's been two years since my last trip to Japan. All thanks to the pandemic, missed a couple of diecast events, and missed browsing for the retired Tomikas, especially in the Tokyo region. Hence, I make a diecast hunting compilation guides for all the collectors. Whether it's your first or consecutive visits to Japan after the pandemic is over, many venues and top 10 recommendation. So be sure to give a like to bookmark this video. Google Map links to these venues and stores are below in my description. Japan is well known for its kajapon machines. If you arrive Japan through Narita Airport, you are in luck. There are hundreds of kajapon machines located in basement one. And mini cars Gachapon in Japan are rising in popularity. Apart from mini cars team, there's also many souvenirs, and it's Japan exclusive. Although most of these mini cars are in plastic, except for a few selective which are in die cars by Kyosho, they are all fun to collect. And most importantly, a nice venue to kill your time if you are waiting for a departure train to Tokyo. Apart from Narita, there's a new Gachapon store. Located in Sunshine City in Ikebukuro, which is the largest in the world, so be sure to pay a visit. Next, the very impressive auto art display located in Tokyo Station. This is an old pre-COVID installation. Auto Art has updated this display last year. The display are absolutely stunning. I don't really focus on large-scale model car like one is to eighteen, which what Auto Arts is focusing on. But being a diecast and model car lovers, this is a must-visit venue. It's really an eye candy, and it trigger an impulse to start collecting large-scale cars. Even for a non-collector, the display is absolutely Instagrammable. Hundreds of large-scale model car are being displayed here. They are very impressive. I really like the initial D at the Wanga Midnight among this display, and I'll certainly come here. To take a look at the updated display when it's safe to travel again, Tomica Shop is a must visit for all collectors. Even if you do not collect Tomica, just go for the experience and Tomica Shop exclusive. It's really worth the trip. Apart from the red box Tomica Premium and Tomica Shop exclusive, the rest of the series, such as TLV, are generally more expensive than other hobby shops located in Tokyo. So be sure to just purchase the exclusive here. You can look for other series in hobby shops in Tokyo, which will give some discount. The Tomica shop selection is really insane. They go by seasonal, so it's great to grab a couple of exclusive bag for your collector's friend or even for trade. Apart from mainline, the selection is really wide, but in Tokyo region, it's very tough to find the first color, and I think that's applied to the whole of Japan. There's a better chances of finding first color in other parts of Asia, and usually for first color or Tomica shop exclusive, they have a limit of maximum of three pieces to prevent hoarding. So I think that's a very good practice. The TLV also has a very wide selection, but I think the price are on the higher side. I made the mistake in my first visit. I could have saved a lot more. However, if there's a TLV Takara Tommy more release. Be sure to get it in Tomica shop. The factory assembly is a must purchase. Casting are seasonal. You can select the Tomica body in Tiro of your choice, and the staff in Tomica shop will assemble right on the spot. It's really a fantastic experience and a perfect gift for your friends. Yodobashi is one of the best venue to get your diecast model cars or hobby kits. It's a Japan tax-free shop. Prices are very attractive. This particular store is located in Akihabara. They have a wide range of die cars, including the one from Diapet. Diapet are larger scale model cars in various scale. I usually will come here to pick one or two of my favorite, or getting them for my friends. The prices shown in Yodobashi are usually marked down less than other retail stores, and the great news is you can get a tourist rebate for a certain amount spent. There are wide range of die cars, regardless which category you're focusing on: bus, lorry, trucks, or even petrol car. If you love to assemble model car in one is to twenty four, this is the perfect venue for you. You just have to worry about your luggage space. The selection is very wide. 
from Aoshima to Hasegawa, Fujimi, Tamiya, and lots more. If you are lucky, you can also find hard to find model car kit, such as the one from Western Police. There's also a number of high-end model car in large scale. High Story is one of them, as well as Kyoshio, Tommy Tech, Initial Model, and much more. Ami Amin in Akihabara is also one of the good venue to look for markdown prices, model cars, and die cars. You'll definitely be able to save a considerable amount of yen while shopping here rather than in Tomika shop. Tomika price machine is also a very common site you can see in arcade centers and also in Tomika shop. This particular one is stacked like Jenga. And if you're lucky, they may collapse, but most often they do not. My next recommendation will be at Yamashiroya Toy Store located in Ueno. This toy store is a blind spot in Ueno. You may just stick off your mind if you're going to the Ueno market. And this is also one of the stores that you can find Tomika that have been sold out elsewhere in Tokyo. And apart from that, they also has a very wide selection of model car kits ranging from different brands. And even if you never get anything here, it's also a very good venue to fit your die cars crave. There's many levels in Yamashiroya with various themes. And so this particular level comprises of die cars and model car, which is great. There's a wide selection of paints and hobby tools, which are highly encouraged to get while you're in Japan because it's very cheap. One thing you shouldn't get are the spray cans because it can't go past the custom, so do not get that. But otherwise, things like airbrush, bottle paints, brushes, sandpaper, are highly recommend to get and to stock them up. There's also a hobby off located in Ueno. Hobby off stores are scattered all over Japan. You can find lots of retired Tomika here. Although the prices in Tokyo are generally expensive. But if you are lucky, you may be able to find one that's to your liking. You can pick better Tomika selections and hobby off stores. They are located outside in other prefectures. Hakuhikan Toy Park, located in Ginza, is also a very good venue to look for die cars and model cars. They also have a pop-out store located at the Metropolitan Building in Shinjuku. And while you're in Ginza, you also wouldn't want to miss the Tamiya Pla Model Factory. If you love model kits and remote control cars, this is the ideal place for you. Lots of Tamiya model kits, Mini 4WD, RC, and also hobby tools including exclusive such as T-shirt in these hobby stores up for grab. Even if you don't buy anything, it's also a very nice experience while browsing the stores. One place not to be missed in Ginza is also the Nissan Crossing. No model cars here, but a wide selection of one is to one latest Nissan up on display. And you can even go for a static test drive for selected Nissan or GTR on display. Nakano Broadway is the number one venue you should come to hunt for die cars. Located just next to Nakano Station, it's very easy to find. A lot of nice food in the Shotengai concept. And also many hobby stores and outlets for browsing. Many tourists and locals come here to hunt for their die cars. Majority are prices that are acceptable to tourists. And if you know the resale prices well and know what you're looking for, you certainly will find a bargain for retired Tomika. I can easily spend an entire day here. And my advice is to come on weekends where all the stores are open and not on weekdays. The Tomika selection here are madness. There are hundreds of lockers. Not just die cars, there are many selection here. Toys, Pokemon cards, collectibles. Everything you need is just under one roof. Toys R Us is also a very good venue to visit while you're in Japan. This particular store is located at Sunshine City in Ikibukuro. Apart from Tomika, a wide range of selections here. They range from Mini GT, Majorette Shortcuts that's in collaboration with Kabaya, Tomika in blister form that's only exclusive to Japan. Just for info, you can't find any first color while they are in blister form. And apart from just Toys R Us, you can even visit the Pokemon stores or even visit the largest Gachapon store in the world 
which I haven't been to yet myself or if you are in Odaiba with your family or even by yourself looking for the Unicorn Gundam or the Massive Gundam store the Toys R Us located here is also a very nice venue to try your luck Hot Wheels has become increasingly popular in Japan most of the latest Hot Wheels can now be found here other than the USA the selections here are taken pre-COVID but now Toys R Us stock the latest team transport the car cultures and the premium series which are available to many collectors of course Tomica is the bread and butter across all the stores in Japan and is also the perfect venue for you to buy the Toys R Us exclusive Tomica if you love Japanese nostalgic car the Toyota History Garage is a venue not to be missed best of all is free entry for tourists here you can find a wide selection of model cars on display there's also a hobby shop located inside apart from model cars you can find many one is to one such as this national treasure in japan and that's the iconic toyota 2000 gt it's a very big venue so you can easily spend like two hours here many iconic and unique nostalgic cars on display so it's definitely a delight and also a very wonderful memory Toyota City in Mega Web is just across the Toyota History Garage. Here you can find a wide selection of Toyota 1 is to 1 on display and also a lot of model cars. The place is massive. Many people here during the pre COVID days, especially in summer. There's even a venue for you to test drive the latest Toyota. The Wonderland is one of the events every collector must visit at least once in your lifetime. This is a huge die cast and model car event held about three times per year during spring, summer and winter. I will include the link to the website down below in my description. The event hall is massive and hundreds of collectors, mostly comprises of local Japanese, will come here to hunt for die cars, including sellers. Majority of the retired die cars are Tomica that is made in Japan or made in China. So if you love Tomica, this is the ideal location for you. I can easily spend more than half a day or my entire day here just looking for die cars. The selections are really wide. Your eyes really need to be sharp. This is a jungle with thousands of die cars. And there's many hidden gems that is hidden among these. All these retired die cars come in crates and cartons. So there's many for you to browse through. So there's no cards transaction, just bear in mind, you need to bring a lot of yen. And this is where you easily fill up your empty luggage if you come here to look solely for retired Tommy cars. Apart from Tommy car, there's also a lot of large scale model cars and also model kits. They are retired and very hard to find. Just keep looking at the dump bin because this is where you'll find your treasure. I bought quite a lot of TLV from this dump bin alone. The prices are really attractive. And one good thing about shopping in Japan, the boxes are usually pristine. In this venue, I come across many things I never see before in my life. So it's really an eye-opener. It's very tempting and it's very difficult to walk away from here without buying anything. Last year, I heard the capacity was about one third during the pandemic. And the Wonderland event is a must-go venue for me when it's safe to travel again. The Nissan headquarters is also a very nice experience after the Wonderland. This is where the latest one is to one Nissan are on static display. It's really a nice experience coming here. And also a wide selection of Nissan model cars and die cars available in the specialty shop. I got one of these Chrome GTR while I'm here, which I haven't even opened it up yet for showcase. There's also a wide selection of Nismo model car that's exclusive to Japan in various scale for you to purchase. After various recommendations, here are my top 10 selection while hunting for die cars in Tokyo. Number 10, Tomika Shop. This is where you come to get your Tomika Shop exclusive as well as the factory model, including the Takara Tommy Mall exclusive for TLV. Number 9, Cam Box, located in Shinjuku. This is a very comprehensive model car shop that specialized majority in Tomica. It's a must visit if you are in the Shinjuku area. Number 8, Toys R Us Odaiba. If you love Hot Wheels, this is the venue for you. 
Hot Wheels are now increasingly popular in Japan, so high chances you may find what you want after looking at the Unicorn Gundam. Number 7, Hakuhikan Toy Park, a wide selection of die cars and model cars here, at very affordable prices. Number 6, Tam Tam Hobby Shop, located at the end of Hakihabara. If you are looking for premium model cars at an affordable price, this is a shop that you must visit while you are in Akiba. Number 5, Mini Car Shop Global, although it's quite out of the way, this is the store that house many gems. And if you know what you are looking for, you may find something that you really like. Number 4, IIA Dio Company, located in Giza. The selection are very really similar to Mini Car Global, mostly comprises of retired Tomica that is made in Japan or made in China. Number 3, Yamashiroya Toy Store in Ueno. This is the store that you may find the Tomica or TLV that is usually sold out in other stores in Tokyo. There's really a wide selection here and you wouldn't be disappointed. Number 2, Yodobashi in Akiba and also other outlets in Japan. The prices are all marked down slightly lower than retail. Selection is wide and it's a Japan tax free shop. Electronic stores are usually the ideal location for me to check out die cars and model cars. And number 1 is definitely Nakano Broadway. The feeling you get while browsing at Nakano Broadway is very similar to Wonderland. It's located just beside Nakano Station. This is a jungle, hundreds of lockers for you to explore and to hunt. Although majority of the prices may not sit well with the locals, it definitely resonates with the tourists. The prices are definitely better in eBay. And that sums up my ultimate guide for diecast hunting while you are in Japan. And remember to like the video to bookmark for your reference when we are all safe to travel again. You can find the Google Map link to this venue down in my description below. Stay tuned for more features and remember to like, share and sub to this channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.